I don't know what the relation is between debates and the uh, outcome of a primary like Texas or Ohio, but judged purely as a debate, I thought that she did very well uh, and that her conclusion uh, was tremendous and deserved the standing ovation that it got. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, Barack Obama failed. Uh, I just think that Hillary prevailed. She was more like Franklin Delano Roosevelt or Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, proposing a kind of New Deal, uh, an identity with the, the palpable suffering of people uh, in this country, uh, like the vets. Um, and I remember growing up under the spell of uh, Roosevelt. Uh, Obama was more like John F. Kennedy, um, the, the promise being even greater than the person, the uh, idealism, the idea of a new beginning. And those are very powerful mythologies within the Democratic Party, and both of them are positive uh, uh, in a sense. And so I would think given the economic doldrums that people are in, the memory of uh, Franklin Roosevelt is somewhat more attractive than the memory of John Kennedy at this point. As I said, I don't think debates um, do enough unless a new side of her was revealed, which is hard to believe after so many years. But she was passionate, she was vulnerable, she uh, was articulate on the issues. Um, I, I, you know, I think that uh, a lot of people in Texas um, who vote for Barack will feel a certain guilt or sadness about not voting for Hillary Clinton as a result. But the, uh, this is about much more than a debate uh, unless there's a turning point where somebody blows up in a debate, and that didn't happen. You didn't feel like during the course of the debate until the end where she really got personal and came out in a way that she hadn't been, during the course of the debate it seemed like she was throwing these punches that just weren't landing, and he was being, he was for the first time the presidential one. Uh, that, that's certainly uh, what their advisors were trying to do. Um, her advisors are divided, so her punches were not uh, very well calculated because she has found that her punches don't land uh, in the course of this campaign. And uh, uh, Obama was being told by his advisors that now's the time to reassure people to be presidential. But I think, um, uh, from my experience, the beginning and the end of the debates are usually what people most uh, pay attention to. Her beginning, I don't know why he gave her the opening, but her beginning was very good. It connected with Texas. It was uh, spirited. It was practical. It was good. Um, not that his was, uh, was bad by any means. And then her end uh, overwhelmed him. So. Uh, uh, I think I think that that, uh, that she did fine. Again, I don't know that this translates into what makes people turn out to vote. I just don't. I was very happy with both of them, frankly. In my lifetime, I have not seen this kind of coming together of a movement and rank-and-file Democrats to create the potential of a progressive populist majority. And that's what drives candidates. Uh, last year, neither of these candidates uh, you know, strongly articulated in opposition to Iraq. They do now because of the voters. Neither of them uh, uh, articulated a strong opposition to NAFTA and called for trade agreements that respect the environment and workers' rights. Now both of them are doing it. So despite the fact that they're divided 50-50 in a way, uh, there's not a division on the message uh, from the point of view of the of the the rank and file, so I think those of us who have worked uh, at the grassroots level of social movements in the Democratic Party have a lot to be proud of.